Rock in the shoe, shine, shine, shine. All right, let's bring them out, Beast Boys. Adam and Mike D, come on out. Oh, you something. guys brought one. See, I brought. Yeah, this I is. Brought, uh, this is really. Uh, this came out today. This is the Tibetan Freedom concert. This is three CDs, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, by the way, well, two plus a bonus, so it's like two and three quarters. Yeah, it's got the sneaky. What's the bonus? It's got the sneaky one in here. Well, the bonus is like the two Whoops. are from the shows this year, both days, the, right. the Saturday and the Sunday. And then the third CD is a few selective highlights from uh, last year's mm -hmm. show in San Francisco. And then it also has like a, I guess like a CD-ROM yeah. component to it. CD. It's so cool, you can check out some of the, like, the live clips on, uh, you know. So the show's San Francisco and New York, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mostly New York. This is like, it's the entire New York concert, all the bands have played, and then it's just like five tracks from San Francisco. You know, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of people think that the Tibetan Freedom concert, it's like Lollapalooza. A lot of people think it's just a chance to see like 15 of their favorite bands. So maybe you can like take a second and just explain to people there's a huge benefit that you guys have gotten extremely involved in with Tibet and sort of explain what this concert really benefits and why these musicians are coming together to play. Um, wow, it's a big thing to, to say quick, but... Uh, Tibet... Well, you've got all show. You can start <laughs> right. anywhere. you got an hour, yeah. No problem. <laughs> all right. Um, well, Tibet is a, is a small country in the Himalayas that uh, basically they've spent the last thousand years um, going from being one of the most powerful uh, warrior nations in the world um, to being completely nonviolent, and uh, and so uh, b as they became a Buddhist nation, uh, they kind of they put down their weapons and became completely nonviolent. And sort of the way I look at it is that at the same time during that last thousand years while they were doing that, we were uh, modernizing ourselves outwardly. Robert Thurman talks about that a lot. That uh, right. That we've spent the last thousand years kind of uh, building machines and, right. uh, and so we're sort of going the other way around. We were going this way and they were going this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a sense. So it's it seems like a really crucial time that we're coming to here now. That uh, that as we come to the to the turn of the century or the turn of the millennium, right. that, that as we've put the the planet on the edge of destruction here um, by stockpiling nuclear weapons right. and uh, and dumping nuclear waste and on and on, that uh, that this it's nation. Heavy. This nation that possesses uh, these insights into um, into ideas of compassion and right. nonviolence is on the verge of being wiped out. So, in a lot of ways, uh, uh, I think we're kind of looking at it as like um, a real signpost for what direction uh, the future of humanity is going to be headed. Right. In. Yeah, and and the concert benefits that, and um, we want to talk about how you got some of these other bands involved their take on it, and more about the Millerepa Fund as well when we get back. So Beastie Boys are here, MTV Live, Adam and Mike D, and we'll be right back. Coming in, when you guys started this concert, like, how much of it was um, pulling favors from friends and bands to really get it going in the beginning musically? Um, yeah, that was basically like the whole thing at first. We were just calling out bands that we knew and friends that we knew. And then once it started getting momentum, then other people were down to like join in and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it was interesting. Like the first year, <clears throat> people we called up probably were you know interested in doing it just because it was it sounded like a good cause to them, or maybe they knew us, or maybe it was sort of more of a relationship-based yeah. thing. But then, even by the second year, just when you're into it, all of a sudden there was a lot more information by just so many articles and so much coverage of the first year being out there that all of a sudden, I think artists went into it uh, with another degree of education on the background of Tibet and the situation with the Chinese occupation of Tibet. So that was kind of an interesting progression right there to bring to the party. <laughs> right. And along with uh, the great music, I mean, it's a day, it was like uh, lots of information and booths and everything set up out there. So kids can go down there not just to see the music, but like we were talking about, Adam, they can leave there educated, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also in the CD-ROM, there's a lot of educational stuff in there. Too, and uh, and people can write letters directly out to like congressmen and to the president and to the Chinese government and right. stuff. I think you can email letters straight out and stuff. So we're trying to get some of those educational elements from the concert into it too. There was an am amazing amount of uh, feeling of community there this past year. Uh, I was back there both days, you know, back with everybody, and it was incredible. There was just a great feeling of, of, of in unity among all the mm -hmm. bands. Um, how did you come to actually getting the bands for the second? Uh, concert was it were people contacting you 
at that point, the second time around now? I mean, we're still chasing them a little yeah. bit, but it was a little bit easier. Yeah, I put in a do. lot of phone time. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of phone time. <laughs> I, got, I got a lot of sympathy for all the promoters we work with. <laughs> got a taste of what it feels like. Yeah. But also about what you're saying about like the vibe of the concert, it was amazing because uh, like almost like with Randall's Allen, it's like a real ugly place and stuff. And when we first came in there and we were setting everything up, it was like really weird vibe. And we were like, oh no, this is never going to be as nice as it was in San Francisco. And then when the monks finally came in, and uh, did a puja or did their, their prayers and like blessed the space and stuff. It kind of changed the, the whole vibe at the concert. And uh, that's what a lot of the people who worked on it were saying. And, uh, and I think that vibe just carried through the whole thing for the next few days. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, and we are, you mentioned there's a documentary about it, which we want to talk about. We want to talk a lot more about the Tibetan Freedom Concert. Let's we're going to talk more about the Tibetan Freedom Show and new CDs that came out today, including theirs, which we'll tell you more about coming up on MTV Live. Oh, yeah, welcome back to MTV Live. We're hanging out with the Beastie Boys. That Pinfield is here. Now, uh, Adam, you were saying that was a Fuji's track from, uh, is that from the live CD that came out today? Yeah, it's in the film also. It's in the movie and it's on the CD. Okay, so now, real quickly, and I know Matt's going to ask a question. Tell us a little bit about the film. It's a documentary uh, of the Tibetan Freedom concert itself? Yeah, it's based on the San Francisco concert. The record's based more on the New York concert, but it kind of weaves together some uh, some interviews with monks and nuns right. and interviews with people hanging out at the concert and some of the artists who performed and some performance pieces. And so Very it's kind of cool. like a concert film and a documentary. I mean, like, will people be able to go see the documentary one day in theaters uh, at all? or will be released? eventually by about, what, about the spring going to be released, I mean, definitely on home video, but mm, hopefully cool. theatrically too. But it's just, it's a really neat combination, I think, of information on the background of Tibet, but then combine that with the concert and definitely like what Matt was saying, it kind of conveys like the, the vibe both yeah. from the audience perspective and I think like the backstage kind of perspective of just everyone doing this thing together and, yeah. and there sort of being a different mm -hmm. intention behind that action than just people making money and the intention being sort of this example and like non-violence that I think can kind of help Very everybody cool. out. The, the documentary, the CD, the concert. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> now, speaking of uh, the CD, the first two uh, two discs are from the concert on June seventh and eighth. And what I thought what I thought was really great about it is it's in chronological order with the artists. It basically takes you through those days. So if you yeah. were there, or if you happen to watch it, uh, you got the feeling you know, of what was really going on that day. Yeah, it's like day day one and day two of the first two CDs. So you can relive it. Yeah. That's how you can. <laughs> yeah. Now um. <laughs> a lot of people probably are wondering, what are the Beastie Boys doing musically? Can we sort of just mm -hmm. give us like a little quick answer on that? Like, what do you guys, are you getting in the studio at all? Or? Yeah, we're working on a record now. Actually, as we speak, Mario and Adam are in yeah. the studio working on seven. We we're cut playing out hooky. We cut right. out for a minute. They're working. All right, cool. But they're in the dungeon right now. All right, good, so we have something to look forward to then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, good, well, let's check out uh, some of the older stuff. We're going to play Sabotage, Beastie Boys are here. And we're going to take it to the mat next. Yeah. Coming up on MTV Live. This is Rolling Stone. Uh, the uh, Tibetan Freedom Concert. They got four stars, which is like great for Rolling Stone Review. And it came out today, three CDs, and uh, you should go pick it up. We're going to have more with uh, right. the boys, more with Matt. Take it to the mat. It's next. We need to call in now, 888-311-4343. I do want to mention that the guys are going to be doing a uh, chat tonight at uh, 8 o'clock, mtv.com, AOL, keyword MTV, chat online, live, 8 o'clock tonight with the guys at the Beastie Boys. So stay right there, and we'll be back taking it to the mat. Uh, to be live. Probably a lot of fun hanging out. This year was a lot of fun. Right. Playing. It's like being the doorman at your own party or something. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> you go in and hang out, or you have to like make sure everything goes kosher. That's cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for being here. It was a real treat to have you guys here. Best yeah. of luck to you. I we'll mentioned real quick that. Uh, this is one of the best recorded live albums, anyway, by the way, too, because it's recorded on a 48-track board, and it's recorded uh, <laughs> better than... No, people should know that it's one of the best-sounding uh, no, live is, albums it's recorded. recorded. It's 48-track digital, the way it's recorded. Oh, no, that's, that's awesome. It's, Happy uh, Matt. Who and gets the 50 it's, bucks? It's, <laughs> it's mixed by, uh, by Sylvia Massey and Pat McCarthy. Awesome. So you know you just can't mess with yeah. it. Cool. Well, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. All right. Thanks All a lot. Right. Oh, Mikey, thanks a lot. Yeah. Matt. All right. Thanks for watching. Be sure and see us tomorrow on MTV Live. Hello? Is anybody home? Uh, I'm here, but it doesn't seem like anybody's on the phone. All right, you know what? I'll go right to the email. Cause I don't, I, this is embarrassing. The Beastie Boys are here. I'm going to the video phone.
Can I ask you? Want to do question? the video phone? Yeah, let's do the video phone. All right, we've got Washington yeah. State out there. I believe it's Jennifer. Jennifer, oh, Matt Jennifer. is here. What is your question for Matt? Try and stump him. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. If I can stump you. Jennifer, I'd love to have you stump me. Now. I don't know everything, but okay, I know. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the guitarist for the Dead Kennedys, the lead guitarist. Who is he? East Bay Ray. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's right. Come on, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. Mad. That's yeah. A, yeah. That, that total cheesy Casio. Right on. You happy? You're Close one, floor you're right. one for one. Right. Right, let, me ask one. let me ask one. Yeah, you want to ask one? Who's Go ahead. the original drummer of SOA? Oh, man. I. That you got. He gets the 50. Yeah. He takes it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's yours. It's yours. Take it. You take it. It's yours. Right, yeah, I'll buy a couple extra copies of it. Who is it, Adam? I don't know. Oh! Matt, you get the $50. Was it Ivor? No, he was in the face. The guy who played drums for the face. See, yeah, I really don't know. Rob, get on me. I think these, it's These I think people it's know Ivor. way too much about music. Right? Like, <laughs> way too much. I don't lie. Way too I'm much. telling you. All right, we've got an email here. Let's go. This is ridiculously easy, but let's go. What was Kajagugu's biggest billboard hit? Oh, that's easy. It's easy. Too shy. Everybody knows that. I think that. we got a video but of that. He, uh, we get, can, we show, can we show the little it video of it? It was too shy, but, but, but then his girlfriend. There it is. Hey, you know, it's all right. That is his girlfriend. His girlfriend right? in the video looked 20 years older than him. What was up with that? Hey, man. It was all the rage back then in the 80s. I don't know, but, but cool. It looked like Rod Stewart. Lamal, you know, went on to do the never-ending story, of course. And all right, you got so that. The didn't happen. But Let's try and take a phone call now. Hello? Hello. We're playing Take It to the Mat. What's your name? Alicia. All right, where are you calling from? Uh, Michigan. Oh, right on. Do you have a question for Matt? Yes, I do. All right, what is it? What is the B-side of Tonky, Honky Tonk Woman? Uh, you can't always get what you want. Is that right? Yeah. That's oh, right. Yeah. Woo! Cool. Happy and the man. man <laughs> the band was dressed uh, partially in drag on the cover of that single. All as well you as, have to do is answer the question. Have you seen your mother, baby? So all you gotta, and then you can just cut it off right there. Dude, okay. no. Otherwise, we're going to go right into the 10th spot. <laughs> all right, let's take another call. Taking right. it to the middle. Oh, my mic pack. Hello. Right up the Hi, what's, what's your name? Tracy. Tracy, where are you calling from? St. Louis, Missouri. Now think of a good one and stump Matt here, would you? Oh, I, I want the uh, gift certificate. Matt, yeah. what album does I'm Only Sleeping by the Beatles appear on? That is on Revolver. Damn. Oh! oh! Matt's right once again. Where is he? Yeah, all right, there he is. Happy Matt, whatever. Uh, we're taking another <laughs> 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 We have fun, you know. We just, <laughs> what can I tell you? We got it. This got is so, live television. You got so happy so fast. That was no, brilliant. I just thought it was funny. All right. Well, you, you go happy about whatever. All All right. A graphic. Hey, bear with us, fellas. This won't last long. But these guys are my friends. They're cool. We're friendly, right? We have a good fun. This is rigged, though, right? No, no, it's not. It's rigged. Rigged. No, it's not. These boys think we're a big joke. You've been no. studying a lot. Huh? No, he knows no, this Mike, stuff. You know I know that stuff. Yeah, I'm a son. Oh, no, I go know. ahead, Mike. I know, I know, I know. You know that. Mike, you want to try and stump him? All right, let's do another question. All right, take let's take one. another call real quick. Right. Hello? Hello? Yeah, what's your name? Thomas. What's your question, Thomas? Um, what is the B-side to Semi-Charmed Life? What's the B-song? Oh, the B-side? Yeah. Um, is that about Third Eye Blind? Oh, Third Eye Blind? Semi-Charmed Life, I think. Was yeah, Semi-Charmed Life is on the A-side. The version that I have of the B-side is uh, How's It Gonna Be? You're right. He's right. Unbelievable. Uh, I knew that one, actually. Uh, I got tattoo of the sign. Oh, very good. Hey, give him one. Give him one. Hey, he has a different version of it. Give it to him. Hey, I'm not whatever. We're not going to argue. Take I the like 50 bucks. But you knew it, because that's the one I have, too. All right, Mike, Adam. Because he's cool. You guys come up with one over there? He sounded nice. They're yeah, in the Mike's Geneva Conference. All right. All right, Mike. I would like you, Matt, to please name the four members of the Fearless Four. Oh, man. The 80s hip-hop group. You know what? I'm definitely not going to be able to do that right now. I don't know why, but I can't. Oh! You Sad Mike. Can you name them? Can you my oh, see, Crazy Eddie. Crazy Eddie, right. I know. Maceo. I couldn't remember. Uh -oh. Who's the fourth? DLB, I think. Is it D, D or B, DBL? D I get it. You guys don't know that. <laughs> I don't want the gift certificate. But All right, Dude, so Mike, you got me that Four one. right, and you got one wrong. Four right, one wrong. That's great. It's a lot better yeah. than last week. Are you last? Uh, yeah. Cool. All right, cool. All right good. Well, let's you uh, last poetry? Hey, uh, you guys want to talk, or? We'll talk later. I'm just kidding. Tell me about the Apex Twin videos. We're going to see it right now. Come to Daddy. What do you know about that? It's interesting that his head, his face is kind of like superimposed all over. This is a great video, children. though. Yeah, it is cool. Do you know who directed it? Do you know, I want to know, do you know that he performs lying down on stage? Really? He performs lying down like the things, you know. I think it's an amazing video. So <laughs> this, this video won on 12 Angry Viewers, so let's check it out. We'll be back on MTV Live. Here's Apex Twin with Come to Daddy.
like you gave us a try, now hit subscribe. Be sure to YouTube responsibly and hit that like button if you like what you see, because there's plenty of content to come.